December is here, and the holiday season is in full swing right here in the Poconos. This is Pocono Mountains Podcast, and I'm Jim Hamill. We're in the midst of Hanukkah right now, and several other holidays are on the horizon. The Poconos has long been a destination for families, couples, you name it, to spend the season by the fire, on the slopes, or inside of the water parks. There are plenty of ways we celebrate the holidays here, from snowmen in Stroudsburg to Hispanic traditions as well as crutches or nativities from all around the world on display for all to see. More on that in just a bit. The Poconos is a year-round destination for millions, and with 2,400 square miles of rivers, lakes, mountains, and forests, with historic downtowns and iconic family resorts, it's the perfect getaway for a weekend or an entire week. You can always find out more on PoconoMountains.com or watch PTN, the Pocono Television Network, streaming live 24-7. That's at PoconoTelevision.com. Thanks so much for listening to Pocono Mountains Podcast. We'll have a new episode each week highlighting lots of the fun things you can experience while you're visiting the Poconos. Subscribe and leave a review and or comment on whatever platform you listen. Back to the episode now, we have so much happening in the Poconos over the holiday season. Resorts go all out, making this time of year extra special for everyone. In fact, Shawnee Inn and Golf Resort hosts a unique display each year with nativity scenes from all over. Brianna Strunk had the story on that last year, which still holds true for this year. And then Christina Luna introduces us to Hispanic traditions for the Christmas season. Enjoy. The Shawnee Inn and Golf Resort has an impressive display of 100 crushes from around the world. It is really something special to have. Crushes or nativities depict the manger scene. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, and all the wise men. The Shawnee Inn has pieces from many countries, including the Czech Republic, Costa Rica, Argentina, Ireland, and Sweden. The representation of what we would consider the manger story from the view of different cultures. Some are made out of ivory, some are made out of wood, stone. Jeremy Wo is Shawnee Inn's director of marketing. His favorite crush from Cambodia is made of newspaper. You can actually see uh, the type from the newspaper in the, the little figurines. It's actually pretty unique. Mrs. Ginny Kirkwood is the co-owner and matron of Shawnee Inn. This collection of crushes belongs to her sister. Her sister goes around the world and collects them uh, from different countries, cities. This display is open to the public through January 4th, although it is recommended to call ahead. There's no admission fee, but donations for hands-on disaster relief are greatly appreciated. Pete Kirkwood, the son of Shawnee Inn's owners, helped found that nonprofit. Which uh, helps uh, disaster areas. Jeremy says these crushes symbolize something important, especially this year, family. And uh, the manger scene, I think, is another representation of family being together however you can and just appreciating what you have. For Pocono Television Network, I'm Brianna Strunk. Hola amigos, ¿cómo están ustedes? Happy, Merry Christmas, felices fiestas. Aquí tenemos a Anthony Stevens Arroyo, la, la enciclopedia viviente de Flecha, que nos va a contar, he's going to tell us the Hispanic traditions in the Latin countries. Christmas is everywhere in the Christian world, Europe, all over in Latin America and North America, but it's celebrated in different ways. Being bilingual and bicultural, I kind of know both sides of that coin. In the kind of what's called Northern European, English, Irish, whatever custom, Christmas is celebrated with words, with going back to the past and remembering Jesus, the Blessed Mother and, and uh, St. Joseph and the shepherds and the angels, and people enjoy that. And the big, basic celebration of Christmas is with carols. Again, words sung and the feeling of Christmas with snow and cold and all those things. In Latin America, it's different. In Puerto Rico, in all those countries in Mexico, we have a different approach. 
So instead of going backwards into time by closing our eyes, we open up our eyes and we dramatically recreate that moment. So people dress up like, you know, Mary and Joseph and the shepherds and the three kings, and we enjoy the moment with the expression of sound and music so that Christmas for us is living again those great moments. And Father Christmas goes to Puerto Rico or not? Oh, if I can get on a plane to go to Puerto Rico, that's the place to celebrate. Yeah. Pues ya lo saben, la Navidad se celebra de muchas maneras diferentes en los diferentes países hispanos, pero siempre de una manera dramática y visual, ¿verdad? Efectivamente, nosotros vivimos de la Navidad y los reyes. Y los reyes. Y, y también reyes. hay una cosa muy importante que los mexicanos celebran, que son las posadas. posadas. Nosotros la parranda, pero lo mismo, que si la gente agrega a la celebración y revive todo esto que van a la casa con la música y un poco de alegrar el momento con tomar algo de comida y llegamos todos felices y en el, el coquito. momento. Y el coquito. fuerte. The coquito <laughs> is the Puerto Rican drink for Christmas. So don't miss it. And if you don't know how to do it, just Google it or ask your neighbors. Les deseamos una feliz Navidad. Y como José Feliciano, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad y próspero año y felicidad. De flecha y de todos nosotros, para ustedes, amigos en Los Poconos. This year, those crashes are on display from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. until January 2nd. They're on loan from Marjorie Gronwald. You can head to ShawneeInn.com for more information. You know, our guests really love our beverages. They like to taste the freshness. You know, what's in there? Like the clean, clear, beautiful waters of the Pocono Mountains. We aren't afraid to try new things. To take chances with our ales and spirits. The best of the Pocono Mountains in a glass. Try us. And find us at PoconoBeverageTrail.com. We're back. Thanks for listening to Pocono Mountains Podcast. I'm Jim Hamill. Now for a couple more aspects of the holiday season. Staples in Stroudsburg. One is the snowmen of Stroudsburg. Back again this year. Let's listen to Brianna's story from last year, which still proves relevant this year as the snowmen appear again all around town. Plus, shopping small this holiday season. Meet Oholdo, a glow-in-the-dark robot shaped like a snowman. Once inspiration hits you as an artist, you just decide, you know what, I'm just going to go for it and see what happens. Local artist Briggy Williams designed Oholdo and another snowman sculpture named Gus. He's made from electrical, HVAC, and duct tape. It was, um, I would say, death by a thousand cuts because I had to cut every strip of tape, uh, create a face, uh, create a concept. 30 life-size snowmen are spread throughout downtown Stroudsburg and surrounding streets. 14 local artists created the sculptures in different colors and themes. You can get out, you can look at the snowmen, you can drive by them, you can take your selfies. A nonprofit called Go Collaborative developed this project. The organization's goal is to bring businesses and artists together for the community's benefit. This is our third year for having snowmen of Stroudsburg all over Stroudsburg. Um, it's gaining popularity as we go. And the best part, these snowmen don't melt. In fact, they're relocated several times through March 1st. Each month we move the snowman so that you can go find them again. And it's kind of a fun thing. A lot of people come from out of the area, plus the people from downtown uh, look for them all season long. Go Collaborative's Vice President Jody Singer created this Hike PA snowman, which was originally placed outside our office, the Pocono Mountains Visitors Bureau. And I also worked on the Mailman snowman, so you'll see that out there as well. The snowmen of Stroudsburg bring business to shops and eateries along Main Street and create exposure for the talented arts community. It's really beautiful because you get to see what other artists are up to. You get to uh, collaborate with them, uh, come up with different ideas, uh, different ways of uh, creating art. 
in mediums that you never thought possible. Here's Brianna again with Shopping Small in Stroudsburg. Pocono Soap is a gift shop here in downtown Stroudsburg where we sell all sorts of handmade soaps, sprays, lotions that we make right here just about five minutes away. Pocono Soap is in the business of relaxation, uh, aromatherapy. We want people to come in here and have an experience. Small Business Saturday is a day to celebrate all the local businesses in your community. Store owners usually put out a spread for you. There's often refreshments, specials. Sometimes you'll get a good deal. You're almost always going to get new products. Uh, it's kind of a kickoff for the holiday season. Found a few stocking stuffers. Not going to tell you who they're for though because those people might be watching. We're known for having really affordable gifts under $20, which is perfect for teachers, bus drivers, um, office staff. We really try to make it accessible and affordable for everybody to come shop local. Our next stop is a place you have to visit when shopping for that special lady in your life. We have been at the apple tree dressing women of substance and style for 40 years. I think one of our hallmarks here at the apple tree on Main is that we have very beautiful, special and unique clothing for women. We have personal stylists that will walk through the store find you everything that you would like. We have the lightest in jeans. We have beautiful tops. We have gorgeous sweaters from all over the world. We have cocktail dresses, evening dresses, boots, shoes, gloves. I'll take one of uh, everything. And for Small Business Saturday, we have very, very special features that are going to happen that day only and they are going to be many gifts under a hundred dollars. And when you're exploring a downtown district in the Poconos, make sure you venture down the side streets where you'll find plenty of hidden gems. We're here at the Potting Shed. We're located just a short distance from downtown Stroudsburg. We're on Ann Street. We have everyday gifts, we have plants, we have pots. I love this owl planter. We have household linens, um, silk florals, arrangements, gifts galore, and we just went into a whole line of books. We have products here that you can probably buy on Amazon, but the fun of coming here is one, you can touch it, you can feel it, and we will make you feel welcomed at home and make your shopping experience so much better than clicking a button. So the small businesses, that's what you get from them. Come out, visit your local small business because it's definitely going to be an experience you're not gonna forget. After a day of shopping, unwind with some wine. We're at Tolino's, one of my favorite wineries here in downtown Stroudsburg, and they're offering 15% off bottles on Small Business Saturday. Thanks for coming along with me on my shopping journey today. We hope to see you here in the Poconos soon. For the Pocono Television Network, I'm Brianna Strunk. Shawnee Inn and Golf Resort downtown Stroudsburg, and so many more locations across the Poconos celebrating the season. Don't forget to go to PoconoMountains.com slash events to find out more holiday events just right for you. Thank you for listening, and please remember to subscribe to Pocono Mountains Podcast anywhere podcasts are available. Come visit us in the Pocono Mountains. Plan your trip today.